Hello students, welcome back. In the last session we have discussed uh, types of scripting languages. In today's session we will start with a new chapter that is origin and evolution of HTML and XHTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language whereas XHTML it is an extensible version of HTML that is extensible hypertext markup language. So we will study a brief history of HTML as well as uh, different versions of HTML and XHTML. So let's start. HTML as I have said uh, it is an acronym which stands hypertext markup language which is used for creating web pages and web applications. So HTML it is a markup language which is used to create web pages. So what is hypertext? It is a hypertext markup language I said. So what is hypertext here? Hypertext simply means text within text. Hypertext it is text within text or a text has a link within it then it is a hypertext or you might have seen uh, text on the on the web pages which links to some other text or other web pages like in the google login page at the top you have a gmail link or a google link that takes you to some other text document so that you can call it as a hypertext a text which has a link that is a hypertext. What is a markup language then? A markup language is a computer language that is used to apply layout and formatting conventions to text document. HTML it is a markup language. So what is a markup language? It is a language which is used to apply layout and formatting conventions to a text document. How the document has to be displayed that is a layout whereas uh, the formatting the colors and other things to be applied to a document. In the late uh, 1980s uh, a physicist uh, that is Tim Berners-Lee who was a contractor at CERN proposed a system for CERN researchers. He proposed the system of documents and he and he uh, invented the HTML language. As we know WWW uh, that is World Wide Web was uh, invented by Team Berners-Lee and World Wide Web it is based on uh, the web pages and these web pages are created by HTML and this is again proposed by Team Berners-Lee. So Team Berners-Lee is known as uh, the father of HTML. So he developed it, he is the father of this HTML. HTML uh, was defined uh, with SGML. SGML uh, that, that is standard generalized markup language uh, which is an international standard organization, so standard notation for describing text formatting languages or you can say SGML it is used to create HTML. So using SGML, HTML it is created. Now the original intent of uh, HTML was different from those of uh, other text formatting languages which uh, dictate all of the presentation details of text such as font style, size, color. Uh, rather HTML was designed to specify document structure at higher level and more abstract level necessary because HTML specified documents had to be displayed uh, on a variety of different computer system using different browsers. The original intent of HTML it is the layout of document not the not the actually formatting of a document like uh, the font style, font size, the coloring and all. Because this document has to be displayed on multiple different computers and multiple different browsers. So the intent was to lay out the document 
not to format it there are different uh, versions of html uh, available today there are many different versions of html uh, the original version uh, was designed with the structure of the web the original uh, version of html it is designed when the web was uh, designed and uh, the first uh, browser and it is at uh, the CERN use of the web uh, began its uh, it has a sudden rise in uh, in the use of web in the 1993 with the release of uh, the first uh, GUI based browser that is mosaic so this is the first uh, graphical web browser and uh, not uh, not a cui based browser even microsoft uh, started uh, developing a browser at the same time this mosaic was uh, commercialized by netscape incorporation there was a competition uh, marketing competition between uh, the microsoft and uh, the netscape they started uh, developing their browsers and they also have started uh, developing their own versions of html and this competition between uh, the microsoft uh, and the netscape led to many different versions uh, of html which are incompatible both between uh, the two developers and also between older and newer releases within the same company all of these differences uh, made it a serious challenge to web content providers to design html documents that could be viewed by different browsers because of this competition there were many different versions of this html and many different uh, uh, versions led to incompatible between those versions and this was a serious problem for the web content providers to design their html document because if they develop an html document by using uh, uh, one html version of uh, the netscape then the same document may not be viewed on other browsers of microsoft so that was a problem uh, and because of that in the late 1994 team Berners-Lee uh, started the worldwide consortium that is W3C and the purpose the primary purpose of this W3C was to develop a standard for web technologies he created a standard for web technology on which the all the other web technology sh uh, should be based so that a document uh, which is developed in a particular technology should be uh, viewable on multiple different computers and browsers. Versions of HTML and uh, XHTML. Since the uh, time HTML was invented, there are lots of HTML versions in market. Uh, now we will see some brief introduction about the HTML versions. Uh, the HTML version uh, 1.0 was the first version of uh, HTML which is uh, released in the year 1991. Then HTML 2.0, HTML 2.0 that was the next version uh, which was released in 1995 and it was uh, the standard language version for website designs this is the first standardized uh, version the html 2.0 was able to support uh, extra features such as form based uh, uh, file uploads form elements such as text boxes buttons etc so there were new features added in 2.0 then the version html 3.2 uh, the was published uh, again it was published by w3c that is worldwide web consortium 
and in the year 1997. This version was capable of creating uh, tables, providing support for extra options uh, for form elements. It can also support a web page with complex mathematical equations. It became an official standard for any browser till 1997 January. Then we have uh, the version that is HTML 4.0. So, 4.0 version uh, uh, it introduced uh, many new features and it also deprecated many older features. Deprecated in the sense uh, the features which were no longer needed were removed or it was a warning for the users not to use those features from HTML because those features may be removed from the feature versions of HTML. Then we have HTML version 4.01 which was released in December 1999 and it is a very stable version of HTML language. This version is the current official standard and it is it provides added support for style sheet and scripting ability for various multimedia elements. So, this 4.01 that is a cleanup version of 4.0 as well and that provides support for CSS that is the cascading style sheet language which is used for web page formatting. Then we have an XHTML version that is XHTML 1.0 which is released in the year 2000. XHTML as I said it is the extensible hypertext markup language that is an extended version of HTML itself. Uh, it is XHTML 1.0 it is just 4.01 HTML defined using XML instead of SGML. In XHTML instead of SGML which was used to develop HTML, in XHTML XML is used. Then we have XHTML version 1.1 in the year 2001 that modularized 1.0 and it drops the frames concept from it. So, these are different versions of HTML and XHTML. The latest version of HTML it is HTML5. Okay, uh, the reasons to use uh, XHTML rather than HTML. There are few reasons uh, why one should use uh, XHTML rather than HTML are first HTML has uh, lax syntax uh, rules which leads to sloppy that is poor and sometimes ambiguous documents. Whereas, XHTML syntax is much more strict that leads to clean and clear documents in standard form. So, HTML rules are not that strict whereas XHTML rules are strict that creates a consistent document, consistent and clean documents in a standard form. Whereas HTML documents you can say uh, leads to a poor document which is not in a standard form. Secondly, HTML processes do not even enforce few syntax rules that exist in HTML. There are few syntax rules available in HTML, but even those rules are not enforced by the HTML processors that is the web browsers. The syntactic correctness of uh, XHTML documents can be validated. The syntactic correctness of uh, the XHTML document can be validated by using uh, uh, facility provided online, but such syntactic validation of a document HTML document is not present. We cannot validate an HTML document, but syntactic correctness of uh, XHTML document can be validated. These are few reasons uh, why one should uh, go for XHTML rather than HTML. Okay, with this uh, we will stop here today. Thank you.